welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so if you're new to my channel then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button besides it so that you get notified whenever i push up a new video so students today we are going to solve an iit je question this question was asked in a sample paper of iit je okay and uh, this was actually asked by one of my uh, students so i thought that uh, let me just make a video of this solution as well i found it really interesting so the question was solve for real values of x where it is given as 4 raised to x plus 6 raised to x is equals to 9 raised to x okay so now the first step which you should do which you should be doing over here would be dividing both sides by 4 raised to x when i do that i get 4 raised to x upon 4 raised to x plus 6 raised to x upon 4 raised to x is equals to 9 raised to x upon 4 raised to x okay now if you look over here i'll get this as nothing but 1 plus since both of them are actually having a common factor of 2, I can directly write this as nothing but 3 upon 2 the whole raised to x. And this is 3 square and this is 2 square. Okay, so I can write this as nothing but again 3 upon 2 the whole raised to 2x. Okay, now in order to solve this further, let's take... 3 upon 2 the whole raised to x as u when i do that my entire equation now changes to 1 plus u is equals to u square okay so when you solve this further you get u square minus u minus 1 is equals to 0 now this do not cannot be factorized directly so we will use the formula which is u is equals to minus b that is minus of minus 1 plus minus root of b square that is minus 1 square so 1 minus 4 into a that is plus 1 so 4 into plus 1 into minus 1 which is ac so c is minus 1 upon 2 into 1 that is 2 okay so the formula actually i'll just write it down if anybody does not know minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4 a c upon 2 a okay i also have a quadratic equation series so if you want to if you want to know how exactly this formula comes into play uh, i'll put up a link on top as well as in the description okay so now when you solve this further minus of minus 1 gets you plus 1 plus minus root of 1 minus 4 into 1 is just 4 into minus 1 gets you plus 4 so 1 plus 4 upon okay students if you're liking the way i am explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos okay and also before i forget if you have any particular question who you think which you think are, is very difficult for you to solve please uh, put the question in the comment section or you can also reach reach out to me through email i will try to solve the question and put, make a video of it as soon as possible okay so now moving on i can write this as nothing but 1 plus minus root of 5 1 plus 4 is 5 upon 2 now the thing over here is in the question they have said that solve for real values of x okay so here i can say that u is equals to either 1 plus root of 5 upon 2 or I can say 1 minus root of 5 upon 2 okay but if you look over here u is nothing but 3 upon 2 the whole raised to x okay so let's substitute that so I can say 3 upon 2 the whole raised to x let's first take this value okay so I can write this as nothing but 1 plus root of 5 upon 2 okay 
Now, if I want to find the value of x, let's take natural log on either side. So I will say that x is equals to ln of 1 plus root of 5 upon 2 upon ln of 3 upon 2. Okay, so this is my one value. Okay, but if you look over here in my numerator, I have a log term. And if you look over this value, 1 minus root 5, that will get a negative value. So we cannot find negative logs. So over here, I will completely discard this particular value. So now I can say that x is equals to, when you put it in Calci, it's pretty much, I can say it's approx 1 minus 1, 8, 7. Okay. So I hope this particular sum is now easily solved and it is not that difficult. Trust me students, when it comes to a lot of uh, mathematics actually, when it comes to mathematics, just by looking at the IIG, IITJ uh, tag, we get scared, but it is not necessary that every question is that difficult. There are few questions which can be solved just by using our common understanding. Okay, so please do not panic and you know, don't think that something just because there is an IIT JE tag or uh, you know, like something like a Cambridge tag or Oxford tag, you don't have to worry that it's going to be damn difficult. Some of it are really very simple. Okay, they are, you just need your presence of mind. Okay, Achha, before I forget, uh, if you all are interested in um, understanding quant or basically quantitative analysis which makes a bigger part of all these exams if you want to uh, solve these kind of questions then you can check out a book the link of that book is available in my description that book is written by mr rs akarwal and it is really great it is really something which anybody who wants to get into all of these top uh, institutes need to have because that book solves pretty much all these kind of questions in detail and gives a proper answer also okay so i guess that's it for now if you have any particular doubts please don't uh, please feel free to connect with me via email okay so bye see ya